Cerrito Theater. Cerrito Speakeasy Theater. It's not just theater. any theater. It's not just any theater. It's, it's still a speakeasy. You know, you know this because you're sitting there on a couch, you're enjoying yourself, you're eating some good food, you're sure, hanging out with nice people. You're, you're talking staff, to the people. Talk to the people because that's what we do in El Cerrito. We talk to each other. We hug each other. Sometimes we even do more than that. And just to let you guys know, I wanted to clarify something from the last video. Um, you're not said, gay? <laughs> We said we said that the Yale Club would be open Friday, Saturday, bit, and Sunday. Actually, it's open Friday and Saturday. And it's actually starting to get, get a little jumpy. So you know, and if anybody has any ideas on what they want, to, anything they want to do in the Yale Club, but for the rest of the week, like we have a Scrabble night or something like that, throw it at us. Cool. And we'll see what we'll do. Scrabble night in El Cerrito. Be there to be followed by bingo. What What are the hours? <laughs> what are the What are the hours in the Yale Club? Kyle? Yale Club is basically five thirty to uh, whenever people stop hanging out. So it's that's pretty much up to you. So I, it comes. Oh, and Catherine and I are there on Fridays. So if you want to talk to us, you want to yell at us, you want to tell us anything you want to tell us. We're there on Fridays. Come and if talk you to want us. to avoid us, if you want to avoid us. Come, come on, on Saturdays. Saturdays. <laughs> it's gonna be packed on Saturdays. Okay. <laughs> so what do you got in the movies, Will? Well, uh, African Diaspora oh, is back. African it's diaspora. back and it's black. African Diaspora is back. Hey, you know what's weird? The Black Panther thing sold out. Why is that weird? Well, you were joking about moving the Black Panther thing to El Cerrito. No, you were joking. No, you were joking. I was quite serious. I was very serious. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, apparently there are people who are interested in things that are black in El Cerrito. And speaking of things that are black... They're not all black people. They're not all black it's people. Multi, it's a multicultural melting pot. We all want to know about each other. That's what we love about living in California. African Diaspora Theater first um, starts May 3rd. Uh, first movie, Heart of Fire. Check, check these out. These are all films... Hosted by Taylor. She, um, Who's Taylor? Deal with the um, movies from the diaspora, the African diaspora. <laughs> no, the a African and African diaspora. African and African American diaspora. And African, African, African diaspora. All things. All things related. diaspora. All right, well, no Pam Beer movies, but still, everything mm -hmm. apart. Uh, so, Heart of Fire, these are at 2.30 upstairs in Theater 2, and this can be followed by a discussion in the Ever Club. Popular it Club. Yes. So, Heart of Fire, June on uh, May third, and then June seventh is the Greatest Silence. What do we got? Shh. Shh. Okay. Um, okay. Coming up, classic this month is The Godfather. So, Kyle was just telling me the someone was getting in his face. We don't show more retro movies. I don't know what you mean by retro, but The Godfather is from nineteen seventy two. So, we do show a lot of old movies. We Most of our get, staff wasn't born then. We don't always get a lot of people for these movies. So if, if you want to see more retro movies, then you have to make about 100 friends and bring them when we show them. Uh, that's because you they, support them. properly use, chastised. Use them or lose them. The Godfather. Ninth or tenth. Okay. What the devil, my boy? Wild at Heart. Uh, Barry Gifford in person. Now, this is the X-rated version. Not every movie has an X-rated version, so I don't think we're showing the X-rated version of The Godfather, though I'd like to see that. <laughs> the X-rated version of Wizard of Oz. I don't, I don't know what they could have done to this movie to make it. I don't know. How much more X could it be? <laughs> the answer is none. None more X. I'm, t I'm, t I'm playing it back in my head, and I'm look seeing scenes, and I'm not seeing what could be done. Oh, I'm seeing some scenes. <laughs> I, I didn't know they would actually do that. Uh... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of Bobby Peru. Anyway, anyway, anyway Bob Peru. <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. Okay. Uh, Barry Gifford. Uh, I'm not going to piss in your hair at all. Uh, in person, and he's uh, Barry Gifford is the author of the book that it's based on. He's got a new Sailor and Lula book. Sailor and Lula are the characters. Of yes, course. they are. And, and he's going to be a local like, writer as well. He's, he's from uh, Berkeley, and he's going to be signing books provided by Pegasus Books out of Berkeley. They're sponsoring Thursday, May 14th. So be, I'll be interviewing uh, Barry on stage before they have. And uh, poop. Well. I had the Wizard of Oz, the the normal G-rated version, <laughs> for Memorial Day weekend. But they said the X-rated version. Of the <laughs> See, this is giving you some enlightened, some a view into, my, into my world. Yes, I get. So I, I thought Wizard of Oz. I can always book Wizard of Oz whenever I want. There's tons of prints, but it's the 70th anniversary, so it looks like they won't give it to me now. This is we do it with the corporate mentality. I'm a move from New Jersey. We got a blank screen. You got a movie. Let's get them together. <laughs> no. So we may not get that. We're going to work on something else, though. Okay. So any ideas? We are having a kids. We're having a kids. Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend. Twenty probably won't be the Wizard of Oz. But it will be G-rated. It will be G-rated. Yes. Won't be the X-rated version of Charlotte's Web. We're saving that for later. Okay. Now, now we're getting trashy. The Trash Film Orgy. Now, Trash Film Orgy. This group of like film fanatics from Sacramento. It's kind of like Thrillville. They they show cult movies and they made their own. Unlike me, they made their own cult movie. Monster from Bikini Beach. One Can you word. make a cult movie or doesn't it just become a cult movie? Oh, we're working on it. So here's what makes it a cult movie. Nudity. <laughs> 
So yeah, local Sacramento girls. We're gonna have a live bikini contest. We'll keep it on, but. There is nudity and gore in this film because they're making it themselves. Who's going to stop them? I apologize. I apologize. In advance? In I'll advance. get you a copy of this. Okay. Okay. You can watch it on the privacy So, are own. their names Zach and Mary? May 28th, 915, Trash Film Orgy. And then Thrillville in June is doing a tribute to Creature Features. Now, this year we lost wow. Bob Wilkins and we just yeah. lost Bob Shaw, who was an editor on Creature Features. He's great Bob. He was a reporter for uh, KTVU, both friends of ours. Did a lot for the theater. They were at uh, the Parkway many times in Thrillville. So we're doing a tribute to Creature Features, featuring the first film uh, Bob ever showed on Creature Features at KTVU is Horror Party Beat, <laughs> which is the real monster from Bikini Beach. So a lot of like monsters Bob showed a lot of good, Bob showed a lot of good stuff. This I, wasn't I, one got, of I got half my education from watching Bob Wilkins when I was a kid. You yeah, scared the daylights out of your cousin. <laughs> yeah. So like my. Tribute to Creature Features on June eighteenth. We'll also have some rare archival footage of Bob Wilkins and also the Rockabilly models. Live on stage. Outstanding. So, yeah. What a month. There's something for everybody here. Yeah. So there's, you have no excuse not to be any and place. And Rocky Horror Picture Show's back. Um, Going like gangbusters. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we'll see. We'll see you guys. We'll see you guys at the movies. That was a ringing endorsement. <laughs> Adios. Aloha.